geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Grain size. Grain size is the diameter of individual grains of loose sediment or the particles in a sedimentary rock. But what is diameter? Well, think of this grain of sediment. The distance across its widest point is its diameter. Grains can range from larger down to smaller, sized from gravel to sand to silt to clay, which is really small. The first person to study and think about grain size was this man, Charles Wentworth, who wrote a scientific paper and devised this scale for classifying and describing sediments by their grain size in 1922, giving us the Wentworth scale. It has larger grain diameters ranging down to the smallest grain diameters, starting with boulders as the largest, shown to scale, then cobbles, about the size of a large hand, then pebbles, about the size of the palm of your hand, then granules, with sand, then silt, then clay, which is so small that you would not need a hand lens to study the grains, you would need a microscope, because clay grains were about two micrometres in diameter. That's one two thousandth of a millimetre. That's amazing! Going from large, or the largest, down to small, no, very small diameter grains, we can grade grains by being very coarse, coarse, medium, fine, to very fine. In the Wentworth scale, part of which studies sand sized grains, where sand, ranging from larger to smaller, has five different grain sizes of very coarse sand, coarse sand, medium sand, fine sand, and very fine sand. So decreasing in size, this then makes our scale go from gravel to sand to silt to mud, which we can then further break down by decreasing grain size within each grade of grain size, ending with clay having the tiniest diameter grains, all of which we can measure in millimetres using these measurements. Wow! Wentworth's 1922 scale was then improved by W.C. Crumbian in 1934, giving us his Crumbian Phi scale. Crumbian used Wentworth scale, but instead of measuring and using the diameter of grains, he used a logarithmic scale, as his scale shows us. So expanding and improving the original 1922 Wentworth scale, so also giving us the Crumbian Phi scale. To study grain size in rock samples, we use grain size comparator charts, like this version, upon which we see the Wentworth scale, both pictorially and by grain size. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!